now we have to GTFO back through the fucking mountain. However, the game saves you the trip. You, woman. Huh? With the vapid look, yes. Oh my! Now whatever is a little girl like you doing out all by herself at this hour? I hear you're thought to be the likely winner of the upcoming Sacred Flower Festival. I am! Aren't I pretty? Now, if you want to grow up to be pretty like me, you need your beauty sleep. <laughs> Watch this shit. Ha! Idiotic plebe. Now, that's not very... A slip of the hand, I'd meant only to mar that lovely face. <laughs> they really are such fragile things. Like plucking a flower, and flowers so beg to be plucked. The ease of it all is a terrible bore. Don't you agree, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Just so. <laughs> Let us hope these vestals to the crystals are more entertaining. By my data, the likely runner-up ought to be strolling past soon. Shall we say hello, Victoria? Do, do, do. Let's go, bitch. Okay, that's not the attack I wanted to use, but okay. Fuck you, fucking asshole things running away. There it is, right up your ass. Yeah, Victor and Victoria are basically Team Rocket if they were actually like badasses, pretty much. And without Meowth. I guess they're more like Butch and Cassidy. Not that Butch and Cassidy, like, you know, the Pokemon Butch and Cassidy. Uh oh. Good job, Adia. Motherfucking Kira, are you serious? And Shell, holy fuck. This guy's going buck wild. Thanks for following, Lord Shamari. Almost back out to the entrance. Team Rockets rockin'. You're just the pawns in my master plan. I think if Team Rocket came out to that fucking song every time they were announced, that fucking Team Rocket's rockin' song, that Double Trouble song, I think they would have been taken a lot more seriously. All entrance to the Central Plaza, the 47th annual Sacred Flower Festival is set to begin. We're in time. And you've really decided not to go with this sexy swimsuit? Wait, you still have that? I'm quite certain, thank you. I'll wear the vessel garb, as tis suggested. This is your last chance to rethink it. Agnes, I still think the world deserves to see the Bravo. Unacceptable. Has history ever seen so sad a day as this? No, I say, surely not. 
Oh. No one who matters is sad, Ringabel. <sighs> Are you nervous? I know it's scary standing up in front of a crowd this size. But don't be scared. We'll be close by, keeping watch. Thank you. Hearing that does lift a weight from my shoulders. Good. Now relax and go get him. That should have made a metal sound. He's wearing a night outfit. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this little subquest. Well, hello. Quite the dashing little dandy, eh, my friend? But pray, mistake me not. I've no interest in children, and still less in men. But yes, this is quite the merry band. Two boys, two girls. Double date, is it? Double date? How charmingly hot-blooded. Ah, youth, look at me. You're making old red blush. Ah, beg your pardon. That was no criticism. I'm proud, envious even. Hard to believe I was that young once. Time's remorseless arrow, eh? Now look at me. Just a sad pile of bones and flab and tarnished dreams. I'd be happy to tear those bones up any night, De Rosa. Stop it. We've got kids watching. Curious. I feel a reflexive, uncontrollable revulsion. So tell me, my little dandy. You're addressing me? I am. Tell me straight. Just how far have you gotten with her? What? Not even held hands? That's worrisome. You're making the red worry. Women are fickle beasts. Another fellow comes a-courting and they're apt to flit off. Take me. If I saw an opening to chat her up, I'd have her in my pocket in minutes. Seconds! What? Excuse me, are you really gonna flirt while I'm standing right here? If you'll pardon my saying, I doubt Edea fancies shallow old men. <laughs> no need to get heated, lad. True, you have your youth and innocence and baseless confidence. As well you should, stay just as you are. We'll see if she does the same. Just remember, it's not innocence a girl wants. It's a thrill. That, and a refined technique. Technique? Ah, oh, but I'm afraid you'll have to study up on that one alone. <laughs> Take care. Totally teen, right? Uh, oh. Idea, just what manner of technique do you look for in a man? Sorry, I'm pretending I misheard you. Is it clever conversation? A gift for cooking? Swords and sorcery? Kissing? Right, now I'm pretending I didn't hear you at all. <sighs> Now, next up, we have entrance number five. It's Mary. Damn, this guy's thugging. So, if you don't know what we're doing this for, it's basically Anya's is entering this beauty contest because it's the most popular contest in the area, and she's trying to make her friend realize that she is in the area and she's safe. And hopefully they can like connect and you know figure out what to do from there about fixing the crystals and having her break the seal on the water crystal. Oh, my heart's pounding. 
and I'm in the audience. It's like the speech at Ansheim all over again. I nearly forgot to breathe. She'll do fine. And we're here just in case. Stage fright isn't the only thing worrying me. Last I heard, Check this out. there were a total of six girls competing today. So why is Agnes's entry number nine? Where are the other three, you mean? Maybe they panicked at the last minute? So remember that little thing where uh, Victor and Victoria? Remember how they took out that one girl and they asked about the runner-up? Yeah, they kind of took out, like, a lot of chicks. Hmm. I suppose it's possible. The lovely Mary. Next up, number nine. On yes. On yes. Oh, here she comes. <sighs> Prepare for one of the longest Agnes? speeches in the game. On yes. And one of the most surprising outcomes, too. It's actually almost comedic. Entrant number nine, it's still your turn. Come on down. Oh, right. Sorry. What was she thinking with that bland get up? Uh. She's clearly delusional. I almost feel bad. Almost. <laughs> I didn't come all the way here for this. Boo! Boo! <laughs> to my one true friend, in hopes that this may reach you. Though great distance has come between us, I consider you my friend, now as in childhood. You are a source of joy, a target of aspiration. You were ever one step ahead, but you would always stop to reach out a gentle hand to guide me. Just to see your smile and hear you speak filled my days with warmth. Yet now, I do not even know where you are. The smile you wore as a girl is still so fresh in my mind. And yet, I feel my breast will be torn asunder from worry. I want to see you again, to know that you are well. <sighs> to be truthful. I am terrified without you. Even now, as a grown woman, I force myself onward, but any confidence I show is hollow deception. Every pause, every quiet moment, I feel ready to fall to my knees and wail as I did back then. Please, I feel I cannot withstand this crushing weight. I cannot manage it alone. I cannot imagine completing my task without you there. Without your aid. For so long, I'd swallowed back these doubts. Tried to be strong. But I fear... Old habits are not soon broken. I will wait for you. So please... If you are watching, tell me. Let me know you are there. Give me some small sign, and this time I will do as you once did. I will reach out my hand to you. <gasps> I... <sighs> Thank you very much. I call foul play. How do you not have any votes? Can't be helped. 
Hers was an appeal wholly out of keeping with the contest's theme. Perhaps I ought to have worn the bikini after all. You were just fine. You said what you came to say. The idea was never to win the contest. If Olivia heard that, I'm certain your words will move her. I hope so. Hmm? I wonder what... A letter? Wait, is it from... Uh, Olivia! Huh? She wrote me a letter! See? You got through to her just fine! So, what does it say? I heard about your appearance at the festival, though I was not able to attend. Fast as fuck. It puts my heart to ease knowing that you have also weathered this terrible crisis. I wish to meet with you as well, Agnes. My one true friend. But I fear I am not free to move about. Behind the ruins to the west lies the hidden village of the Crystal Orthodoxy. You will find me there. Do not allow this letter to be seen by any eyes but yours. Not even the matriarch can know. Awfully cautious, isn't she? If I trust anyone in Flora, it's the matriarch. They must be after her too, then, as we feared. <sighs> Let us go. Straight away. West to the ruins and the hidden village beyond. I trust you heard that, Victor. Most clearly, Victoria. Then we have little need for the Wind Vestal to continue living, hmm? Indeed, though if I may, it seems they make for the Vestal of Water's side. Yes, and? They may serve us better as live baits. We let them go, give chase, and net two Vestals at once. Fine, fine. So in the end, it was I who took the festival crown. Unsurprising, but amusing enough. Wouldn't you say, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Just so. Fucking Victor's voice, man. Alright. Time for the best subquest ever. Except not really, because you have to repeat this like three times. Just what are these techniques? I stewed on it all night and came up blank. Now, how are you going to fucking be ring a bell and do all this shit and everything else and not know what the fuck they're talking about when he says techniques? How the fuck are you going to do that? How are you, gonna, how are you not going to know? I don't understand that at all. Next time I see that red character, I'm getting a demonstration. One way or another. He's getting a demonstration of his techniques. So, now you gotta go up here. Hmm. I need to go up there. Oh, it's because we have to be here in the nighttime. Right, right, right. We have to be in the nighttime. Well, I'll go and get, um, I'll go and get fucking this quest done. Get this done with. And we'll come back. You can see how this would become an asshole thing. We're gonna have to fucking use magic on this bitch. Yeah. Actually, then we're just gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go back and rest. 
Because I do need to get her a Kira, that's right. I need to get that anyways. So let's go there at night and then fucking rest. Oh, you got your asses lit up. I'll take that 28 JP though. Until you fuck him up. I'm trying to get it to be nighttime again here. Holy fuck. It's going to nighttime or something. God damn. There we go. And then after this, we should be able to go into the town. Get a nice little bonus of experience there. All right, so now we're going back into town in the nighttime. There's quite a few quests that can only be done during the nighttime. I'm sorry, are you? They were certainly in a hurry. Looks like they dropped something. Let's have a look. That isn't yours. You oughtn't. No, I oughtn't. And good thing I did. Why? What does it say? Rose to strike Northern Hideaway. Warn them to flee at once. What? Rose. The Blood Rose Legion. Let's hurry north. To the hidden village. But that is not what we came here for. This is what we came here for. It's late for a lady to be wandering about. Shall I walk you home? It wasn't enough. The hairpin, the dye. I used them, used them both. But, but it's not enough. More, I need more. I can be prettier, have to be. For some reason, this woman's voice at times reminds me of a female Don Knotts. laugh as he said it. I was secret beauty potion. But it wasn't enough. It's not enough. The red hair left. Left the basement. None of it lasts. Potion wasn't enough. Basement. So dank. I woke. Woke up and screamed. More. More. I need more. Um, no, I'm going to use other jobs during this playthrough. Oh. What do you make of all that? I pride myself on understanding women. But she had even me at a loss. Let me talk to good old Red over here. Come, we're following him. I intend to see this so-called technique for myself. Why do I have to come?
Don't sweat the technique. Bam, 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 bam. So exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink. Someone, give me a lap to lie in. Need sleep. So, guess what you gotta do now? You have to do that again. So we have to dupe around here in the nighttime again. I'm not going to do that yet because I want to go and get this done first. Dunzo. And I forgot to get Cure again. I'm not really going to need it with this boss. It should be fun. Remember this area we checked up here before? Are you ready? I hereby declare this style showdown the beginner contest open! Here we go!